Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Parents, grandparents, students, faculty. Welcome to the Upper School Instrumental uh, Holiday Concert. It's just one in a series of concerts that the students and faculty <coughs> and fine arts department of Monahatton are hosting this year. Putting on, we've had uh, this, this season. We've had five, or we will have five. This is the fourth of five. You're welcome to come to our final one tomorrow at six o'clock. It's the fourth and fifth grade. Uh, all of these concerts, the approaching break, have, I think, have put us all in this uh, mood, the excitement, the holiday spirit. And I know that this particular concert will only add to that excitement, anticipation of the holidays. Uh, I know that the students have put in a lot of hard work in preparation for tonight. Uh, and that Miss Nowicki, the instrumental music teacher, and the Lamont Manhattan Fine Arts Director has put in a lot of hard work as well. So in order to respect uh, them and the performers tonight and to give them our undue attention, I ask that you silence your cell phones, uh, that you do not text or surf the net during the performance, and that also if you have to leave during the concert that you wait until the selection is ended before you actually exit or that you enter. So with that if, uh, introduction and that welcome, I would like to as Miss Nowicki, come on out. Just a quick word before we start. Thank you all for coming this evening. Um, as Drew was saying, this is the in a the sixth event, actually, in a long line of events, were the sixth event for our newly merged fine arts department. In the last few weeks, we've had everything from the One Act Play Festival to Lower School Art Show to a whole host of concerts. And we have one more, which is tomorrow night, um, the Lower School Band and Choir Concert for fourth and fifth grade. And then that wraps up our first half of our performance season for the year. Um, our first selection this evening, uh, is a peppy spirited number that actually they just started learning um, I'm gonna say in the last maybe four weeks so it was the last thing we added on they learned it pretty quickly the group behind me are all second year players and it's amazing what happens after one year of study um, if you might if you were a parent of this age group last year you might remember the winter concert last year where they knew six notes and played like two songs and now they know a lot more notes so we're very excited to do this uh, this evening and our first number features Scarlet Guerrero and Cairo Flamer Caldera on trombone and I'm going to invite them to come up here in the front where they know this song by memory.
Friedman, and I would like to thank you for coming to our concert this evening. Our next song, Ancient Spirits, is a Native American piece. Many Native Americans believed in the mysterious power of spirits, experienced through rituals and visions. These offered early cultures insight into man's relationship with nature. Music, especially that of the flute and drum, was used to summon these spirits during religious ceremonies and rituals. This song features flute players Alex Abel and Gabby Rackman.
um, hope you don't mind that I did tell every man that comes up here that they're allowed to play a few notes because after sitting there for a while, you know, sometimes reeds dry out and things like that. So getting a few notes in before we have to play for real helps. And how are we doing in percussion? Are you ready? Okay, so we're going to turn it over to Max who's going to introduce our first song. Good evening. My name is Max Yasha. On behalf of the 7th and 8th grade band, I would like to thank you for coming to our winter concert. Our opening selection is an arrangement of the famous classic Russian sailor's dance by Reinhold Glier. It was written for Glier's ballet, The Red Poppy. This semester we have been focusing on changing tempo and 16th notes. This piece provides a wonderful opportunity to strengthen our skills in these areas. We hope you enjoy Russian sailor's dance. Thank you. 
name is Justin Kay, and I hope you are enjoying the concert so far. Our final piece is Defying Gravity, which is the signature song from this immensely popular Broadway musical, Wicked. The smash hit show recently celebrated its 10th anniversary on Broadway. It has been performed over 4,000 times. This piece has the appeal of pop music while again reinforcing changing tempo. In addition, this song has enabled us to study syncopated rhythms and intermediate level articulations. We are excited to perform to Defying Gravity for you this weekend. for the evening is a sixth grade flute student. So she started playing last year and um, this particular student loves to practice. And that is not something I can say very often, uh, even about myself, honestly. Um, but this is a, a person who is very self-motivated and uh, practices all the time and it really shows in her playing. So I uh, wanted to make sure that we rewarded her for that effort. And actually, um, she did win a practice award here at school last year in the fifth grade. So please welcome Gabby Rackman playing <laughs> Thank you. 
soloist is a piano soloist from the sixth grade, and um, this young lady is going to be the newest uh, member of the band department because we are starting, if you haven't heard, a middle school jazz band. It's a club that meets after school, and um, she's going to be the pianist for the group. So please welcome to the piano, Karen Shang. who may look like they're a little bit older than the 12th grade. <laughs> Maybe. I don't, I don't think that way when I look at them. Um, but one of the great fortunes of working at this school is that, for me, is that we have a great um, relationship with the Jazz Foundation of America, and through them uh, we have adults coming in and coaching our students throughout the year and also filling in the concerts. Um, we are a small, vibrant, growing upper school, high school band, and there are certain instruments that we don't have yet. We have them, as you can see, in the lower grades. And so we do um, bring in the coaches sometimes to help us out in that area. And in addition to the Jazz um, Foundation artists, we have a few guest performers. And one that I would really like to acknowledge is uh, our brand new lower school band director, Ryan John. Can you stand, Ryan? for me that we now have um, band in the lower school with fifth grade moving down and also we're, we are starting a year earlier this year in fourth grade so it's going to be great to see um, what great things that's going to bring for our uh, middle school and high school band program and um, on a personal note Ryan actually is a former student of mine who I taught in starting in third grade all the way through 12th grade so this is it's special on many many occasions so uh, this will be the first chance I've had to conduct it in a number of years so it'll be great thank you
as you probably could tell, that um, had two melodies in it, the first Noel combined with Pachelbel's Canon in D. They go very nicely together, and there are many arrangements that are similar to that one. Um, our, our next piece um, is by James Kernow. It's called Canticoon, and it is a, an original work that's a very um, classic concert band style. And it's very energetic and spirited, and one really cool thing about it is it's enabling us to use for the first time in public our brand new timpani drums back in the corner that MJ will be playing. And so um, they were a new addition to our instrumentation this year. We're very happy to have them. Hope you enjoy this selection. seven more times. Thank you. Thank you for putting up with our, our the transitions that we have to do. The high school actually has three different setups for the stage tonight. 
So um, while they're doing that back there, we're going to bring on our next soloist, who is seventh grade violinist. Please welcome Christian Moy. instrumental concerts for the last couple of years, then you've kind of grown accustomed to the fact that in the high school we usually do one thing that is non-traditional. So it wouldn't be just the concert band or jazz band, something different. Um, that idea came about because uh, I realized early on that there's a need to reinforce 
um, studying, reading, music. And so the first year I thought, what am I going to do with high school students that they're going to want to do that allows me to address fundamentals of counting rhythm? And that year we decided to do a trash can and bucket uh, percussion ensemble where they learned how to read the music first and how to count it out, then they memorize it and we put on a show with that. Last year, we added the element of reading pitch along with reading rhythm, and we did an iBand. So the, everything that they played was done on apps on their iPads or iPhones. And what this enables the students to do is if it takes away the element of producing a, a, a tone with your mouth, um, taking away the element of the fingerings and allowing them to really key in, focus on one specific thing. So we have returned back to rhythm this time around, so that it will not be pitched instruments, it will just be rhythm. And it's something a little unique and different. Uh, and I'm not gonna say much more about it, I just hope you enjoy it. So I'm gonna get this microphone off and we'll get started. for one more round of applause for that. Thank you very much. Uh, all of that was learned 
in the classroom with the notation up on the board and figuring out how to write the counting and say the counting and clapping, and eventually it all came to fruition. So I really appreciate their hard work on that. Um, as we're setting up the stage again for the final setup for the jazz band from the high school, we're going to uh, invite one of our high schoolers to come up to the piano and play a solo. Um, this young man um, very much liked participating in band, was, was not able to fit it into his schedule this year. And every time I see him in the cafe or someplace like that, he'll say, hey, how's band going? So uh, I actually approached him a few weeks ago and said, would you like to play a solo uh, in the concert? He said, yes, and I'm very happy to present Jared Young at the piano. Yeah. Yeah. for the evening, Chris Bradshaw. And Chris was also the person who arranged the exam for me. I, I say, I want this, and then he makes it all magically happen. So thank you, thank you, Chris. So our final uh, two selections are going to be uh, the high school jazz band. The first is a song called Everything that was made famous by Michael Buble, and we hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
They didn't know what uh, or where or who, and they've been asking me a lot, the sixth and seventh eighth graders, and saying, you can tell me, you just refuse to tell me, which is true. Uh, and we managed to keep it a secret, I think, from almost everybody, but it isn't that great when they see their teacher do something different like that, and she's awesome. Thank you again, Mrs. Mama. selection there is somebody that I really really need to thank who does all the behind the scenes stuff and um, those are our heroes at all of these events that we have they're running back and forth um, from Broad Street to here all the time and getting whatever we need and that's Judy who's back in the booth back there so let's thank you. A song by Metallica, and I told the kids we chose it because it's Mr. Alexander's favorite group. They didn't believe me. So we hope you enjoy Enter Sandman. Thank you. 
Very, very proud of all of your talent tonight. Um, where is Miss Molnar? Let's give Miss Molnar another round of applause. Thank you Ms. Molnar. I, I even knew uh, of the surprise and I'm still surprised uh, and just in awe of your, your amazing talent. So thank you for... Katie, come on up. Miss Molnar, come on up. Woo! Jordan Hines, I'm so happy to present to you. And last, but certainly not least, uh, Ms. Nowicki. Um, I want to thank and congratulate Ms. Nowicki, not only on this exceptional performance, all the work and uh, tireless hours that went in for preparing for tonight's performance, but in the amazing drive, the never-ending drive, never-ending passion she brings each and every day uh, in working with our students, in inspiring our students, and helping to grow our music program. So, excellent job. Thank you. left before the winter break. I want to wish all of you a holiday, all of you family, a very healthy and happy holidays, very happy new year, and I look forward to welcoming you all back uh, January 6, 2014. So have a very wonderful evening. Thank you.